Wrestling Lovers, bienvenidos, welcome to a brand new episode of the newly renamed. So you guys know I was doing these episodes of morning after, but they always come out in the afternoon, today evening. So you know what, I decided if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So welcome to the very first episode of the Demon Level, the video edition. Welcome to the demon level, body slam you through the rubble. Hosted by your demon diva, Queen of Sad Style Lisa. Special shout out to Steve the Fan and the Fans Podcast Network for allowing me to bring you this show on a video platform. Because as you guys know, it used to be an audio platform. But now, I'm right here on video. And today I am talking about the greatest Royal Rumble, which I couldn't watch live. It took a whole day staying off of social media to avoid spoilers, but I finally just sat down and um watched it i was i was happy that i didn't have to watch the pre-show i didn't have to watch the intermission so i guess there was a there was a little bit of a pro to not watching it live but before i get started make sure you hit the subscribe button because i am uploading reactions more often recaps just quick thoughts of everything that's going on in the wwe world more demon levels coming your way um also make sure you follow me on social media at wwe demon Libra. now we can talk about it. So in the Greatest Royal Rumble, I was shocked that this came out first, but it was Triple H against John Cena, with John Cena victorious, and um, obviously afterwards he did a nice speech for the crowd. I really like the words that he shows. His words, his selection of words was superb. Um, I, I The match was okay. It was what you expect. Um, it was pretty much these two guys just trying to give the crowd something, a spectacle. Uh, you know, wrestlers that you don't get to see every day. It was really cool to see Cena make it out there. Um, yeah, of course, Cena wins because that's what you expect, pleasing the crowd. I hate to say it, but it was a very... It was like a house show on steroids, right? You know, when you go to a house show, the results, not a lot of, not titles change hands, but the matches are fun. I like watching it without the expectation of anything happening. I like not watching it live. It was more relaxing, but... Ultimately, not a lot happened, but it wasn't a bad show. It's the best that I can tell you. And this match is the prime example that it wasn't a bad match. I like the ending. I see that did um, some weird combo. I like that Triple H reverse an AA into a pedigree. But these guys have worked with each other for so long. Of course, we expect that to happen. So overall, it was okay. It was a great starter. We had for the cruiserweight title, Cedric Alexander defending his title against um, Kalisto. Oh my God, that match. Nice. You should go back and watch it. You should go back and watch it. That match made me wonder about 205 Live. I need to start watching some 205 Live in my life because if that's what they're doing in that show, yeah, it needs to be watched. Excellent match by both of these guys. Um, Sometimes I forget how good Kalisto is in the ring and Cedric just brought out the best in him. So good for them and even better for Cedric for retaining his title. The leaders of Ward have, be have became the Raw Tag Team Champions. Um, this is, I believe, the only title. Yeah, this is the only new title in the show, but obviously it had to happen because it was vacant. So we knew that this title would go to somebody new. With the bar showing up on SmackDown, um, I had a feeling that this would happen. And I feel like they have to do it for Matt and Bray to be taken seriously in this new journey that they're in. So yeah, I'm, I'm happy for them. You guys know if you watch my reactions or all my other videos that I'm really into Matt Hardy and Bray Wyatt. So I can't wait to see... Um, you know, what their first feud is going to be. Are they transition champions? I don't know. But I like them working together. Both of them needed something. And I like that it frees up Jeff Hardy. So that's awesome. Good for them. Next match, it wasn't so great. But um, I thought that gender will win. I'm not going to lie. Now, before going into it, I thought maybe maybe gender will win. I wanted Jeff to retain. And that's what happened. The match sucked. But Jeff is still your United States champion. I don't even remember. The match did not last very long, but um, the Usos against the Bludgeon Brothers and the Bludgeon Brothers retain the SmackDown. It was another almost WrestleMania match. I can't remember. I did skip a lot of this benefits of not watching live. Um, I can't... I know that a lot of people are into it, but I can't get into the Bludgeon Brothers. I don't know. I think I hopefully they, they a few with the bar. Um, the Usos, the Bar, and the Bludgeon Brothers. I don't know what's going to happen in the SmackDown tag team division now, but I don't like them. I know that they're more for the old school wrestling fan with that gimmick. I just I just can't get into them. I still see them as Wyatt. It's weird. It's weird. I can't explain it, but they retain their titles. Um, whatever. 
up was um, personally my favorite match of the night, and that was the Intercontinental title ladder match. Um, one of the ones that I was the most excited about because it wasn't a WrestleMania rematch, but it was, but it added the ladder factor to it, and we added Samoa Joe to the mix, and Samoa Joe can never make anything bad. So um, the finish of this match was awesome. I should mention it was um, Finn Balor, Seth Rollins, The Miz, and Samoa Joe. Um, Seth Rollins retained his title. The finish was awesome. Finn was like this close to grabbing the title, but then Seth jumped from the rope onto the ladder, just climbed up real quick and snagged it from him. And I really liked um, that. I believe that Seth and Ambrose had a similar finish, but it wasn't like that, like so suddenly and out of nowhere. Like I remember they were both on top of the ladder and they both grabbed the title and when they fell, Seth was the one that landed hanging on to the title, if you guys remember that. <laughs> so, yeah, remember, I know my Seth Rollins history. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I really like this match. He has some great spots. Finn was a little busted open on his eye, but these guys just brought out their best on each other. They all look great. Joe just looked like a killer out there. It was an awesome match. Um, my favorite, that one, the Cruiserweights. Um, I like the main title matches because they were better than WrestleMania, but I would say those two were the ones that, you know, got my attention the most. It had the um, WWE Championship match, Shinsuke Nakamura against AJ Styles, a WrestleMania rematch. And what a difference does a crowd make here in the Universal title match? Just not having a crowd being either dead or shitting on the event does make a difference. I thought that this was a better match. I think that having a heel Shinsuke with that role that he's going to play Define is much different than what he did at WrestleMania. And that's probably why I enjoyed this match so much more. I love what Shinsuke has done. He needed this transformation in his character. I didn't like the ending. It was a cheap way out, but I'm hoping that their backlash rematch, I'll be there. So I know that Shinsuke is waiting to win the title in front of me because I have been there for all of his big moments. So I need to be there for this one as well. So that's why he's holding it off. My theory. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, I think that I hope it's a gimmick match, no disqualification kind of thing. Um, because yeah, that's, that's what that felt like. But I feel like we can't, we can't hold off on Shinsuke anymore. He's had a couple of WWE title opportunities. I cannot leave my hair alone. I cannot find the hair, you know, because I want to shave it to be like Shinsuke. <laughs> Kidding. We need. We cannot keep doing this with Shinsuke. I like this ending because I felt like AJ looked better. Now, AJ has been looking like a weak one, like an idiot, letting Shinsuke punch him in the dick every single time. So I like that AJ got a little vicious there at the end and the double count out. It just made AJ look dominant like your champion again that being said i didn't like the ending it was a cheap way out of it um but it wasn't the first match that they then it wouldn't be the last time that we will see a cheap ending out of a match on the greatest royal rumble i love shinsuke as a heel i like that they gave aj a little bit of a more i don't know like he got angry and took it out on him like finally you know and i think that their the third time is a charm i think this will be their best match and i can't wait to see what happens at Backlash. Hopefully, um, you know, we get a champion heel Shinsuke Nakamura. And I just want to give props to Shinsuke for owning that heel role. Because he's doing great. Had the Universal title match, which is Beastie Brock Lesnar against Roman Reigns. And, of course, what I always said would happen, happened. Brock Lesnar retained his title. But it was with a controversial finish. Um, Roman speared him off the cage and... Brock landed first, back first on the ground, so they say that he escaped the cage first, which is what I agreed on. What I didn't like was that the announcer started talking about whose foot, like feet, made contact with the ground first. This is a Royal Rumble. In a Royal Rumble, you get eliminated when both feet touch the ground, but the cage is always whoever escapes it first. You know, like if you if you're both hanging on the top of the cage and you and one of and both of you jumped out, it's the one that lands first that will win. So I don't understand how that will make a difference in this case, and I wish they would not brought that up um it's a good way to you know not have Roman pin again by Lesnar um it's a good way to hopefully not keep the feud going but in the future they have to face each other again you know Brock can say Roman can say that he um didn't really lose that second time but he already lost twice so it's time to move on with Roman and it's time to move on with Brock I'm very curious to know what we're doing with Brock now because everybody thought that this will be the end of his reign and it's not ha <laughs> so yeah that's it I'm happy with it the ending I don't think it was as controversial I think they're just 
given it more thought than they should. And this is why I hate steel cage matches because it opens the room for, wait, what the fuck just happened kind of endings, you know? But that's what they wanted. That's what they wanted. And they got it. And the right man is still your universal champion. At least was the 50 man greatest Royal Rumble. Um, Titus O'Neil, the real MVP. Gotta give a prop, man. But um, in all honesty, this was fun. Sometimes we always like, we go into the main Royal Rumble with so many expectations because the winner should main event WrestleMania that you don't enjoy the event. You don't do it just to have fun. And this was fun. This was a lot of fun. Um, yeah, Braun Strowman won. I like that they used the greatest Royal Rumble to advance the storyline between Big Cass and Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan and the Royal Rumble are just not meant <laughs> to be. Um, I really like that Elias had a really good showing. I like that the guys didn't have to do double duty because I feel like the matches were really solid tonight, so they put it all out there. Finn Balor, hello. Um, you know, Brock, Roman, like, taking some crazy spots on the case. Shinsuke and AJ were just going hard. So it was good that they didn't have to do double duty and that they brought that many people out to Saudi Arabia to deliver for this amazing show. So it was awesome to see that. It was great to see Braun winning. Um, you know, Braun needed a big pay-per-view moment and I don't think that Nicholas was it. So, you know, for him to be standing there with his um, greatest Royal Rumble trophy and belt next to Vince McMahon and the Prince of Saudi Arabia, that was a cool moment. So I like that. Overall, not a lot happened, but it was a fun show to watch. I will say that. Um, I wish they would have done it on a Saturday, you know, because of the whole Friday thing. I remember staying up all night for Beast in the East, but that was on like the 4th of July. But this happened on a weekday, and I hope that in the future they plan it on a different time so that they can be some kind of um, some kind of speculation for the greatest Royal Rumble winner. But that being said, it's fun to have a Royal Rumble that's just for nothing, but... For the, for, for the bragging rights because it made it just more fun and I think for me as a fan it made it more fun to watch. Um, as far as the Saudi Arabia thing go, I'm a female fan and I think that the changes will come and there's, you gotta take baby steps in order for things to start changing. Um, you know, I'll give you the women's revolution in WWE, for example. You know, this is not how women used to be treated a few years back and look at how they're being treated now, right? I want to compare cultures and religious beliefs to this but that's what i mean it doesn't happen overnight you can't have a company just come in and all this only want to change the rules and cultures and beliefs of a country um it doesn't work that way and that being said when you run a business um you know you try to tell me that somebody's gonna offer your company millions of dollars and you're going to turn it down um and you know I'm pretty sure the girls would have loved to perform and being the first to perform in Saudi Arabia, and I'm sure they will get their shot. That being said, they also get a nice weekend off, which rarely ever happens for them. So I hope that they're enjoying it. Um, I understand why some people, you know, are not happy with it, but I wouldn't want anybody from a different country to come in here and tell me that our morals and beliefs are wrong and we're going to start doing things their way, right? So we should respect that, and I felt like the show was very respectful. I loved how much they highlighted the city, the place. I actually really enjoyed the segment where they brought out the um, the people that passed the tryouts and they kind of gave it for the crowd. I know it was a little cheesy, but the crowd ate it and that's what it was meant to do. Uh, so I actually really liked that they gave them that. Um, yeah, overall, a fun show to watch, but you can miss it. I hate to say that. So, you know, like, for example, I was, like, going crazy, like, trying to not read spoilers and this and that. And um, after I watched it, I was like, I should have I could have stayed in social media and come in and kind of fast forward through some of the things that I didn't have to watch. So, yeah. Hornswoggle, too. What? <laughs> yes, I hope you enjoyed this review. And make sure you go follow me on Twitter at WWE Demon Diva. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. Same handle. Please hit the subscribe button, like, share, and leave me a comment and let me know what you thought of the Royal Rumble, greatest Royal Rumble. Did you like it? Did you think that the right man won? I honestly, on my WrestleRumble.com prediction, I have picked Daniel Bryan to win it. So, yeah, unfortunately. Um, I was wrong with Daniel Bryan and I was wrong with the Usos. I have picked the Usos. Everybody else, I had right, so I guess it was a little bit of a predictable show, but um, sometimes a lot of them are. So, anyways, until next time, guys. Bye. Mwah. Welcome to the demon level, body slam you through the rubble Hosted by your demon diva, queen of sad style Lisa Champions and main events, hot
Hot and cold and all your questions right here So tune right in One, two, three, we got you pinned Roman Reigns is angry Now Issa got some lady wood She would love a spanking Yeah, I bet that feel real good John Cena sucks Yeah, I told you so Who will be this week's biggest douchebag? Soon you'll know The Fans Podcast Network We always putting in that work We love that raw, it's time to ride Beastie does no wrong in her eyes So volume up, don't miss a beat The latest WWE Smack Daddy, we smack it down And Issa, she don't miss a thing Pile driver, body slam Power bomb you on your head The demon level is next level Do you smell the rock or do you smell trouble? So now it's about time to begin And now it's time for the rhyme to end It's time for the hostess with the most It's the demon levels hotter than the kettle, yo